What's going on guys? Just hanging out in the shop today and I uh, found these wheels on RC4 Drives website. They're CC hand. I've never seen them before. Uh, they uh, they scream my style, so I don't know what we're going to use them for. I just got them to get them. They are pretty expensive, but CC hand stuff is super, super nice quality. Uh, these are like steelies with a, with a smoothie center cap and I was very surprised. The center cap is actually magnetic. It's got like a rare earth magnet made into it and it hides the wheel nut and goes right on. It's got a little valve stem. Uh, it's pretty cool looking. Well, these are bead locks or one nines. They've got only four screws to put together. Genius. Nice, nicely done. So you see, I've stuck this one on a uh, model car tire just to see. Um, I've got another one back here on the Amigo on a touring car tire. So uh, that's something I've done in the past. One nines, 2.2s. You can run crawler wheels on touring car and road tires and things like that. Um, that one I'd left the ring out, obviously. It's got a foam in it. It would work. It's not going to be great because it's not going to be glued or anything, but but just out here playing around trying to see what, what it would look good on. It might give us an opportunity to lower one of the Amigos more. Look kind of cool on there. Um, these wheels, these Tamiya lowering wheels, they're like a weird size, like a 2.3 or something, and they're super wide. So the way it is in the back is about as low as you can go with those, but I don't know. That's pretty much bottomed out. <laughs> that needs to be the ride height. So I don't know. We're going to play with these and see what, what they look like on other things. All right. I know the tread's on backwards. <laughs> the tires don't even match. Uh, this is one of my TAO2 short wheelbase. I've set it up as a short wheelbase because it fits the Amigo body. I just want to see. Oh, <laughs> Oh man. Okay. I think we're on to something here. That looks so 90s. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say with that. That's too cool. Well, all right, now we have a new build. <laughs> this thing looks too cool. It just screams mini truck and magazine. I love it. Uh it's just cool. So now we're not going to be trying on tires and wheels. We found where the wheels belong. Now we got to make this chassis work with what we're trying to do. So I got to find some better fitting touring car tires. Those are all very wide wheels. Uh, the ones I put on the back, I think it was the back, the one with the tread, they were some old, old HPI, uh, wide, wide, super wide <laughs> on touring car tires for like the rears of the Tamiya's with the adjustable offsets and things like that. This chassis is pretty bad shape. This I bought for like 40 bucks on eBay and it's filthy, disgusting. And uh, the gears and stuff feel good, but it's just dirty. So we need to clean this chassis, get it stripped down, get some suspension on it and see what, where and how we get there to get this look. I do have the air ride set, the actual pro air set, but it, it worked good on the FFO one. I put on my Honda Civic cause it just had different lines for everything. So I don't know if that'll work on a TAO2 as well. And we got plenty of room underneath this body for things, but that has that big control box. So I don't know if we'll try to do servos or something, but first thing we need to do is get this chassis stripped down, cleaned, and get all these tires mounted and balanced. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we need to check the width, make sure they're not too wide and they fit underneath the body. I don't have any on the other side right now. So yeah, this has to happen. That's too cool. Let's get started. Roll the music.
change of plans a little bit. This chassis looks even worse now that it's cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> it's just filthy. This thing had been used and abused. We got broken. Everything that breaks on these uh, upper shock towers, broken, upper thing, everything's broken. So, you know, TAO, TAO2 is my favorite chassis. That's what I grew up with as a kid. I think I got enough parts to build a new one from scratch. So I think that's going to be the play here. We don't want this nastiness on our nice show truck with these nice wheels. Um, I did not have four matching tires. The rears are on some old HPI radials with the V tread or fronts. I don't know which one's going to be which yet. And those just have actual foams in them. And the fronts are, or the others are <laughs> to me, a super or wide slicks which actually fit a lot better. Um, I don't think I have another set of these or I'd swap these out. And they actually have vintage HPI uh, rubber foams in them. I found a pair of foams at a old hobby shop in my travels through Kentucky, bought them last year. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to roll with on that. Um, but yeah, I think we need a new chassis. This one's just ugly. So the TAO2s came in, uh, the TAO1 is a longer chassis same gearboxes, and then you have the arms angled forward like this. <clears throat> so you get the standard wheelbase of all touring cars. So, that, so when they came out with the TAO2, they changed that, shortened the middle chassis, same gearboxes, and then they flipped the arms to the back. So it angles rearward for the standard wheelbase. And that allowed you to flip them forward for a shorter wheelbase, hence the, the all the Porsches, the Tatian Star Card Porsche was the first, and now all the limited edition ones all have the, you know, the carbon chassis and all that jazz but um, everything else is the same so I've got a quite a bit of parts so let's go digging see what we can find uh, the only thing I may not have is gears I know I have rear gears I don't know if I have front gears gears we can steal out of this but the rest of this stuff and the stickers and somebody has sanded off sticky stuff on the servo in the top plate um, this like I said all that's broken so yeah, we're going to start from scratch. All right, guys. I got a plethora of things. Some upgraded, some stock, some bearings. Got knuckles, got aluminum, got hardware. This is the stuff that's hard to find with these vintage cars. Um, I don't even know. I've scored a bunch of these on eBay. This is all of our uh, rear uh, control arm screws, the long giant ones and our shafts for our gears, uh, the front lower control arm thing, little things like that, full gear set, not just the speed tuned. And I've got a whole rear gear box. I don't have any more front gear boxes. I've got tons of parts trees with control arms, uh, even a little cardboard motor heat shield. <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna use any of this. I got another idea. I found, I found it like it was hidden. Setting right over here is a really clean TA-01. So we just need to swap the chassis for a TA02 and put a different drive shaft in it. And the arms are already in the right position. We already have shocks. We already have everything. I believe this one had bearings. Can't remember. Can't see. So uh, yeah, this is clean. This is just taking up space on my display shelf. I don't really have a need for it. I don't have any TA01 bodies, do I? No, most of my vintage bodies are for FF01, so... Yeah, I just need the one thing I don't have, a clean TAO2 tub. Um, I've got another one in there. It's better than that one, but it is not mint. So <laughs> let me do some digging. All right, I know I have one perfect TAO2 tub. Wait, I have two perfect TAO2 tubs. So I'm going to have to steal one from one of these kits to use in the meantime. That one's actually like 93, so I don't want to steal it. This is a reproduction. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open and steal it. I don't know how much joy this brought me opening this kit. It's like a flashback to my childhood. This is the stuff that Tamiya does that sets them apart. Pretty cut. So people like me with shaky hands and terrible Lexan skills can at least have nice wheel wells. I'm going to throw all this in there. I don't know what I'm doing with this build. Got the chassis out. This chass chassis kit I bought just because I'll buy any TAO2 that they re-release. I uh, never was really into the Opal, but, you know, I wanted to build it as a uh, full upgrade chassis. 
use everything I've got. Um, but we're not there yet. So we're just gonna borrow the chassis. I'm gonna order one on eBay right now to replace it because I have a FRP lower plate. Uh, I think my buddy Rob gave me that and I've got the, the little poles that go between the two layers, but I don't have the top piece. So I don't, I don't know what those are going for. to wrap this video up here running out of time for the day but uh got the uh wheels on got the chassis as narrow as i can get it um you see it's not sitting as low as our mock-up um i went back to the plastic 12 mil hexes and i sanded them down as much as humanly possible these wheels have a very shallow hex and um it's barely tucking um i had to take the shocks loose on the chassis to get it to lay so we had the camber to kind of help clear things so we still got some figuring out to do one thing I, we're gonna have to do with this is something i've been kicking down the road for a long time we need to make a way to mount this body on a tto or tao2 if you're familiar with the cco1 chassis you have this lip here on the front that sits inside of the front bumper and then on the back we have the two posts that go into the rear body bracket that holds the body up and um I don't think it's going to be very hard to do, but it's going to take a little bit of engineering to uh, move these kind of mounts to our on our touring car chassis, basically. So that's definitely uh, a key component of this, something I've been wanting to do for a while. Ever since I got these two Amigos, I've been mocking them up on touring cars, and uh, yeah, we got to figure out a way to actually mount it. So right now, the chassis is laying almost all the way on the ground. It looks like it's bagged. When we first started, it looked like it was bagged and body dropped. So, I don't know. Short of adding more camber, there's not really a way to narrow this chassis much more. Um, the control arms, I mean, that's the shortest option for control arms. Um, I went through and made sure I didn't have any different kind of knuckles or anything on this. It's just these wheels have a high offset because they're for a crawler. But, I think we can make it work. It's just going to take a little bit more time, so... Until next time, guys, get out there and do something with the hobby. Keep it scale, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to check out the link below if you're interested in these wheels. They're available at rc4wheeldrive.com.